Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It was on 19 point nine, excuse me, 19 point nine. Um, yeah, that's what she looks like. You can see the steam rolling off of there. That's not the kind of steam we need. That's not going to work. Oh, it's hot. It'll burn you. Burn your skin plum off. If you hold it there, it will. Um, that's on 19.9 amps, and it's done jump down to 19 amps even. It's also jumping down to 18 amps. And uh, when the amps drop to a minimum, what happens is uh, the steam has become superheated. And that's the steam that we're looking for. Uh, one reason I reduced the size of this uh, fuel cell container is uh, I wanted to reduce the amount of time that it took to heat the water. The hotter the water becomes heated, the quicker those amps, the quicker the current flow will drop. Right now we're on. Uh, it didn't just start out at uh, 19 amps. It had to work its way up. But 120 volts times 19.9 amps. That's 2,388 watts that we that we had to start out at, and we're going to end up at uh, 120 volts times uh, 7.6 amps, somewhere around there. We're going to end up around 900 watts to cook our egg with. Right now we're on 18.4 and it's dropping to 18.3 and what's going to happen is uh, whenever we get enough of that super heated steam coming out of our uh, fuel cell we're going to run it through uh, a condenser like this which is a um, Heating and cooling, that's the evaporator for the refrigerant, for the 134A refrigerant out of uh, Geo Metro, 96 model. Uh, but the water's starting to boil, starting to literally boil. And um, you can see the steam coming out of it. And we're still at, we've dropped down to 17.8 amps. And when it drops down to a minimum, we can turn this sucker down to about seven amps and that's when we can start cooking our egg because if we have too much steam and not enough hydrogen it's not going to burn if we have too much hydrogen and not enough steam it's going to blow up like a bomb if we get just the right amount of hydrogen I'm going through this coil here and we mix it with just the right amount of steam and I would assume that mixture depends on your fuel cell setup you can light it like you've seen me do in one of my other videos so that's that's balling right there you can hear when it starts to boil it starts going blah, 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 blah. that's what you want to look for in a boiler plate configuration which is what I call it uh, Right now I'm just running on one capacitor, uh, but this is the steam that I was looking for. This is the steam that I'm after. It took me hours to get this kind of steam, and the good part about this is, when it's cold in the winter time, it will heat my room up, and I don't even have to use any sort of a heater for my 10 by 20 room. So this winter, whenever that's like what, 52 degrees? <laughs> Just because of the fuel cell I'm running, it's 63 degrees. This winter, uh, let me zoom out. I'll show you my room. That's my. TVs, my security cameras have under here. Uh, this winter, 
when it gets really cold outside and I take that air conditioner out of the window I have the ability to experiment all I want and this little baby right here will put out enough heat to heat my room now this little heater right here will heat this room I, I used this heater to heat this room with last summer I mean last winter excuse me that is a 1500 watt oil filled heater well I'm clearly using 2300 watts to heat this water and the water stays hot unlock the heater it cools off but this water it just remains hot forever seems like it anyway and if, if I want the water to remain hot all I gotta do is uh, switch this up to like four or five amps and see we're already on 16.7 amps now and you can see we have a load of steam come out and yeah that steam's pretty hot uh, and uh, there's nothing gonna burn in steam take a lighter and you put it over in steam it's gonna put it out it should but that steam's hydrogen rich the reason it's not putting it out run that through a cooler and you got a burner um, so now we can turn this thing down to about now that we've reached around 16 amps we know the water's hot we know we're getting superheated steam we've reached our goal we've done what we wanted to do now we could turn it down to uh, around 7.6 amps right there is where I was running and uh, if you could see inside the fuel cell that's what it would look like the water is boiling it is steaming but at the same time it is hydrogen because we're using DC electrolysis um, wish I could reach down in there and maybe get one of those I've never done this before so I don't know if it'll pop or not but I'm gonna try it and see if I don't burn the cap out on stuff okay got some bubbles oh it popped it was a very weak pop but it popped and that's what we're looking for we're not looking for oh did you hear that that was a very weak pop we're not looking for any loud bangs. It's hard to get it's hard to get my flame in there to the bubbles. We're not looking for any hard bang bangs. All we're looking for is we want to know that there's hydrogen there. And based on this experiment that I'm showing you right here you can see that there is hydrogen there and we have a byproduct of heat and uh, the steam is dissipating a little bit which is why you keep got to keep the current flow and the the steam sensitized with each other to a point to where you want to have a constant flame like that of propane and when I put a lid on here and I have like a little bitty spout coming out, you'll see a you'll see a um, a big change in the amount of steam that is coming out. It don't look like much right now. It looks like it died down, but that's what we're looking for. And we're going to cook an egg, so just stay tuned. We're going to get there which I've turned it down to 7.9 amps I'm turning it all the way back up see it's cooled off a little bit so it's drawing a little bit more amps we're gonna do something with this oh yeah we didn't come this far for nothing nope even if I had to spend all winter heating my room up with this fuel cell we're gonna get somewhere Ups didn't drop down again. Did you get the general idea? And uh, I'm just keeping you posted. Stay tuned.